Hey fellow campers, this is Wanda. And I'm Ricky. And we are Tennessee, Tennessee Camping Nerds. And we are going to do a reaction to the video of the song from Bray Stevens called The Camping Trip. And it is from his Hurricane album uh, released in 2008. Now, what do you think about Ray Stevens? Funny. He is funny. Now, full disclaimer here, we are not country music fans. I'm sorry, but we just aren't. Neither one of us are. But you got to love Ray Stevens. I mean, I, any song or video I've ever watched of, of him has is, is always been funny. But I didn't even know about this, the camping trip. Um, but we're going to do a, a reaction to it. Um, maybe you'll want to watch it with your family when you're camping. And um, I guess let's get to it. Let's do it. If, if you if you enjoy this video though be sure and uh, like it and um, be sure and subscribe to our channel and the, uh, leave a message down, down below. below let us know what you think about it also if you know of any other camping movies or camping songs that you'd like for us to, to react to or even any episodes of television shows that are about camping that particular episode let us know in the messages down below. We'll be glad to uh, react to them as well. Let's go ahead and watch this. Well, last summer I thought for a little diversion I'd take my family on a camping excursion. We were tired of vacations with air conditioned rooms and such. It's swimming pool, room search. And I thought two weeks way back in the woods would do us all a world of good, especially the kids. They don't appreciate nature much. Yeah, they'd rather watch TV, eat a Twinkie. <laughs> well, my wife wasn't sure, but I said, look here, honey, we'll have a lot of fun and save a lot of money. <laughs> now, right there is where I made my first mistake, yeah, friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> I figured a tent, a few cans of beans, marshmallows, what could it cost? What with sleeping bags and the hiking shoes and all the other paraphernalia that you use, it came to six thousand nine hundred forty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. <laughs> yeah, but like the man said, you can use it all again. Well, Isn't that the truth? Getting set up for camping the first time, you just have to buy so much stuff. But it sounds like they're not going to be doing glamping like we do in our yeah. motorhome. <laughs> we camping mostly. They're going to be <laughs> doing some real camping with no electricity and. Out in the woods. Yeah, we packed a new Land Rover with a maximum load and drove till we run plumb out of road and then backpacked six hours straight up a steep incline. Fires, <laughs> travels, and cockleburgers. And then we saw it, the perfect sight. There were trees on the left and a creek on the right of a clearing to pitch the tent, just what we had in mind. Eat your heart out, feel in the stream. Now, pitching the tent took four hours or so, and by then the sun was sinking low, and the kids were whining and crying for something to eat. Then my wife said, where's the restroom? I told her, she grinned and said, yeah, now, where is it really? So we broke out the uh -huh. soda crackers and sardines and Vienna sausages and pork and beans and sat around the fire to enjoy a well-earned treat. Mm -hmm. Good, well, that city fight junk food for us. Kind of reminds me of wild hickory nuts. Let's all go camping, you'll never have it so good. It's great getting back to nature, out there in the woods. Amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees where the animals are our friends. Once you get hooked on camping, you'll never like a city again. She's that skunk. That'd be what I'd worry about if we was doing tent camping out in the middle of the woods as a skunk. We had a skunk come around our uh, campsite not too long ago at, at a regular campground where it, it wasn't even, you know, it wasn't even tent camping out in the middle of the woods, but that's kind of unnerving when you see the skunk go by. Yeah. Well, we 
just weren't ready for what happened then when sparks from the campfire carried by the wind set a pile of leaves and two 89.95 sleeping bags in oh, flames. Goodness. Little Delbert was going for the marshmallows, thought it was part of the deal. The air spread from the bags and the leaves to the trees, raging out of control and fanned by the breeze. I thought all was lost and then, thank God, it started to rain. I don't need shower, friend. We're talking barrel up the old one more time. Well, the fire was out, and we huddled in the tent and wore slap out from the day's events, floating on our air mattresses in mud ankle deep. Whereupon my wife said, I really need to know now, where it is the restroom? <laughs> and when it finally stopped raining, it was cold and late, and those mysterious noises kept us awake, and we all knew we'd be mauled or axe murdered in our sleep. At this point, I knew the ghost stories earlier was a bad idea. I was dozing off just about to dream about a holiday inn when a blood curdling scream announced the presence of something in the tent covered with hair. That's when I said, Leap up our son and light the cold when I think there's something in here with us. Well, we lit the lantern and there he was, a little beady eyed fuzzy looking at us, and we chased him out of the tent head on into a bear. Yeah, he just finished off his groceries and was frothing at the mouth. I ain't talking no gentle bend here, friends. <laughs> He reared back on his haunches and let out a ground. We all turned white and let out a howl and went tearing through the woods in hysterics without a flashlight or a lamp. It's amazing what a dream do. I mean, I was a track star in high school, but my chubby little wife just flat footed past me oh, with a child <laughs> under each arm like I was taking a Sunday stroll. Yeah, never mind the restroom. <laughs> well, somehow we all made it to the car and I had to crank it with a quick hot wire because I'd left the keys in my backpack back at the camp. Yeah, along with my shoes, wallet, Rolex, and six thousand nine hundred forty seven dollars and forty two cents. Oh, worth of we went flying down that dark muddy trail, slipping and sliding like a bat out of hell till we drove through a stream we crossed on our way. Lord knows how we missed all them trees at 90 miles an hour sideways. Now the rain made it deeper than it was before, and the water started pouring oh, in man. around the doors. We had to swim for shore and never saw that land rover again. Yeah, it just floated out. Last I saw was tail lights going over the fog. Oh, good. <laughs> Safe farming, I never believed it. Well, we finally stumbled into civilization, called a friend of mine from a Chevron station, and he drove out, picked us up, and took us all on the home. Wet, cold, tired, talking to ourselves. They say take only pictures and leave only footprints. Well, we left eight sleeping bags, two trail master tents, a Coleman stove, $400 worth of groceries, a Land Rover, a Rolex, and every stitch of clothing that wife ever owned. Oh, yeah, had to take it all with her. Main coat, makeup, electric curling, <laughs> With some of that detail, I wonder if there's some truth behind this story. <laughs> if some of this really happened to them. Oh my goodness. I will be sure to put a, a link in the comments uh, or in the, in the uh, description section so you all can go straight to this video when you want to watch it. It's great getting back to nature. Out here in the woods, amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees where the animals are our friends. Once you get hooked on camping, you never like a city again. <laughs> Tell you one thing, friend, next summer we're going to Daytona Beach. For what this trip cost, we could have gone to Hawaii. Oh, Why? goodness. First Why? class. I'm talking to the girls and them little pink fizzy drinks with the little pearl. I think all of our fellow campers probably have some friends who think that's what camping is all about and why would they want to go camping with you like all the bugs and the and the animals and dark and wet and that's what they think about it but uh, of course we don't do that kind of camping <laughs> we used to well even when we used to tent camp we would go to campgrounds where we have electricity we'd plug in a a lamp and a fan or maybe a little heater or we didn't yeah. we didn't rough it like that. We tent camp though. Yeah. We we did tent camp years ago. Well I enjoyed this, didn't you? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, that's I think pretty, it's the first time I've ever seen it. Yeah, I I hadn't didn't know he had done one about camping. He's very talented. He can come up with some really cool stories. I wish um Weird Al would do a 
<laughs> the song about camping because he could he can come up with some good stories like that too but if you all enjoyed this be sure and click like below and uh subscribe to our channel leave a, leave a comment down below let us know like i said if you if you know of a, a movie that's about camping or a television uh, episode that's about camping or another song or video that's about camping that you'd like for us to react to uh, put it in the comments below, and we may just do uh, your suggestion next. All right. In the meantime, let's go. Camping. Let's go camping. <laughs>